to have you with us here on the cafe. Now, we're really happy to welcome internationally acclaimed chef and restaurateur both here and in London. He's got a new recipe book out called Savour. It's a fantastic book. Salads for all seasons. Would you please welcome Wanganui born Peter Gordon. Peter, it's a pleasure to have you here. Oh, lovely to be here. You get a clapping audience as well. Uh, so you've got your new book out. This is your eighth cookbook. Eighth, yeah. Which is quite good. I, I, when I did school cert, I don't even know if people do that now, but <laughs> when I did school cert, I got 50%. So when I go back to Wanganui, I always take in the latest book, that's, my old school, which well, I'll do next week. That's very wise. And this one is all about salads, and it's probably, would you call it it's your most simple book? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. It doesn't require a lot of cooking. I mean, some of the components are a bit complex. You'd need to roast this or braise that, but a lot of it is assemblage of good, lovely tasty things. The posh salads? Not all of them. There's a um, <laughs> there's a couscous with kale and lemon salad. Yeah, that's posh. Yeah. Oh, is that posh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. They make everything look beautiful oh, and absolutely okay. gorgeous and just delicious. So why, why did you go salads this time around? Uh, I just I thought it, it just seems a very good thing to be doing and I, I you often have ideas of what you want to do for a book and then you every now and then I think it's good to do a book every sort of year and a half two years so I pitched a few ideas and this was the one I really wanted to do and luckily that's what the publishers felt as well and uh, so it went from there really so you pitched what one or two or more ideas? I have two I had two ideas yeah okay and they went yeah, yeah no, that one. one yeah this which one. was good and I think if you really want to do something you pitch two but you know which one you want to do so you know it works. What is your go-to food when it comes to this particular book what's the one that you'd like the most uh, mm, well, the thing is, it's really, it, it's so, it covers so many different things because it's very seasonal. So the book's just been uh, launched in the UK where it's spring, summer, and it's launching here, which is autumn, winter. So in the UK at the moment, I'd be saying you'd make the burrata tomatoes mango dressing because it's, it's just warming and sort of light. And here, maybe you might do the chicken livers or you could do the lamb and feta salad, mm, uh, yeah, you know, which good. is a bit more... It suits the weather a bit better. How often do you get asked by people, what's your favourite recipe in the book? I mean, there can't be an answer for that, surely. <laughs> no, because it changes. And yeah. yet I'm going to say, what's your favourite recipe in the book? <laughs> I would say there's a really lovely chicken in there with kumquats and black garlic, so that probably is a bit posh. But it, it's, a really, it's a lovely family meal, and it looks fantastic. And it's got some ingredients that you do need to hunt around for a little bit. But I do think New Zealanders are really good at trying to find key ingredients and mm. stuff. So you're living overseas at the moment, Peter. I just wanted to find out what's going on in your life, really. Um, you're back in New Zealand for a little bit. Do you miss this place? Uh, well, I can't, I'm lucky. I come back five, six times a year. Right. So this is my third trip this year. And I go down to Wanganui and see my folks. And, I, you know, I, so I, I spend three and a half months a year here. And often I'm jet-lagged and a bit dopey. But, um, no, I, I, I feel like I get a really good chunk of New Zealand in my life. So you left Wanganui at age 19. You went to Melbourne. Now you've got restaurants in London. You've got restaurants here in Auckland. You've been honoured um, on the New Zealand Honours list. Yeah. Uh, you've got a restaurant in Istanbul, Turkey, yeah. that a lot of people talk now. about. Yeah. as well. Did you ever think when you left Wanganui at age 19 that your life would be like it is now? No. Right. No. And because of the, I don't know that these lives existed back then. And actually, if I can create, I was 17 when I left. 17? Yeah, I okay, went, cool. to, went to uni and mm. then uh, quit uni and then went back to Wanganui and did a bit of work. And then when I was 18, I, I left the country. Wow. But, but, uh, but in those days, the sort of the celebrity chef sort of thing didn't really exist. There were there was Hudson and Halls and Graham Kerr and Des Britton on the TV. People wrote books. Um, Alison Holst was doing lovely mm. food writing and stuff, but it wasn't anything that I ever pictured. So I do, and I find myself often in situations where you're, say, you're cooking lunch for the Queen or something, and I'm going, oh, I'm from Wanganui. Like, <laughs> how did I get to do this? I'm so lucky. It's pretty fascinating yeah. that you did. And you've also made a name for yourself. Well, you could, every, every single article I read about you calls you the Godfather of Fusion <laughs> or the Father of Fusion. Yeah. Has, has that been a title that sometimes irked you a little bit? Yeah, there was a period w when it first came out, the term Fusion, and I, and I sort of took it from a guy called Norman Van Aken, who is an American chef from Chicago who was working down in Miami and he, he had this term fusion and I thought oh that's a good term I'll use that and that was probably 1995 or 96 yeah. and that was really good and then some another chef the only chef I've ever written a fan letter to uh, then 
said, oh, Peter Gordon fusion food, it should be called confusion food. So suddenly, <laughs> and that was such a catchy thing, so suddenly it was all confusion and, you know, da, da. So there was a period where I was kind of going, oh, the fusion word, you know, it's the F word, do I, you know, how do I feel about that? But I, but it's the best description, really. It's yeah. the best description of what I do. You've just got to own it, really, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what, we're really excited about this book, Sabre. Great to have you back in New Zealand Thank as you. well. It's inspired me to get back to some of your fine restaurants as well. Um, if people get this book, what do you reckon is the first one they should make? What do you reckon? I think they should just, because every recipe is photographed, I think you should just open to the page that grabs your fancy and then you can kind of work towards it. Okay, that. go, right now, now. So go, go, go. Hang go. on, this is what I'm going to make tonight for dinner. Ready? <gasps> Oh, actually, that's good. I'll make Oh, that. you picked a good one. Salt and Szechuan pepper prawns, miso roast. I don't know about the Jerusalem artichokes. Can I get those? Yep. Crispy garlic and umeboshi dressing. That looks delicious. Peter Gordon, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you in the studio, and I'm really looking forward to delving into this oh, book. Thank and we look forward to having you back in the studio for your next cookbook, which I'm sure will be in the not-too-distant future. You're a busy man.